how well you can see this. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. It's underneath the front of the Buick. Now, I do have this on a jack. Like I said before, it's unsafe, but I do have another jack over there as well. And the tire is not up off the ground. I shook it down very hard. It will not fall. But this is going from underneath the front of the car. It's a front bumper. Looking back, these engines set sideways. Of course, you know, the guys that know this are going to say, we know, but some people don't. And we just got home probably, you know, maybe 30 minutes ago. So I like to do this when it's still warm. See how thin that oil is? It's broke down and it's blacker than coal and it, it's it's well overdue the oil change we've neglected that now right up here is the filter all you all you have to do is unscrew that off of there and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second let me get my filter wrench and I have this setting up here and this up here for a reason. I'm going to show you something here in a minute too as well. Okay. So now, pretty self-explanatory, but let's see if I can get the screen right. Okay, can you see that okay? Now, I don't want to drop this in here. All you do is you put this on here and turn it back. That's all you're going to have to do to get that filter off there. I'm going to slide my... Now I'm just using this old pan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this oil back into the old oil or the oil containers that the new oil came out of. Now I reuse this stuff for other things like uh, to put in uh, squirt cans and stuff like that. But if you have too much of it, you can always take it to the parts store. They'll they'll take it off your hands for you. So all you do is you loosen that. Now a lot of people they'll jam a screwdriver up inside here, and what that normally does, if it's on real tight, it will actually tear that. Now what you can do is get right at the edge of that. There's a lip there, and you can tap on that with a screwdriver and hammer or a blunt chisel, and that'll also make it come loose. So. There's what we're doing there. Now I'm going to let that drain for a minute. I'm going to show you guys something. Okay. All right. Bear with me. All right. Now this is what I wanted to show you. Now our filter is at an angle, but whoops, sorry. But what what I'm going to do here? It's down in there. It shouldn't fall over. If it does, it's just more rust protection, right? I'm going to open this. Now, so, what I always recommend doing, if you just put a filter on, you don't fill it up if you can, you're essentially starting a dry engine. So, I'm going to dump this in here. If I can, there we go. Hang on, I'll be right back with you, YouTube. Okay, sorry about that, YouTube. Had some company. Uh, the company we're buying a house from stopped by to check out and make sure we're ready for carpet and all that crap. Anyway, what I wanted to show you also, if you can, fill this up. If you can't go all the way, that's fine. At least get it half full or is it an angle. I've got about three-fourths full. Now, you know, everybody knows to put oil around the seal. So, I'm going to do that. Now, I want to tell you guys something. I'm probably going to get a lot of slack from a lot of people. But they tell you to put that oil on there to seal it. That couldn't be farther from the truth. That is not why you do that. That oil is not going to seal that like it does a tire rim or the bead on a tire. It does not do that. All this does is it lubricates it. That way, when you tighten it up, and you only go hand tight on these two, folks. Just go as tight as you can get with your hand. A lot of guys are stronger than others. We understand that but never put it on with a wrench or a big pair of chain locks. But the reason why you oil that, that's to keep this gasket, this rubber gasket, from ripping once you tighten it. That's all that's for, that does not seal it because if you need to put a sealer around there, you have other problems. That should not need any kind of sealer, but that's all, that's why you put that around there. 
it, it's the truth it's honestly it's not it's not to seal it it is to keep it from ripping so I'm gonna get under here and get this put on here um, and we, we started to do the video of the battery cutoff switch but the battery and the drill went dead just as I drilled the first hole so while it's charging I'm doing this so I'll get back with you shortly with you it'll just be you know for you it'll be a second but for me it's gonna be a few minutes so I'll be right back with you YouTube okay YouTube now we're gonna put the new oil filter on that's where it goes that, this stray came over where you hi guys there the stray came over and I petted her <laughs> and gave her a snack now she won't leave <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that so here's the new filter as you can see like I said it's in that at an angle now I still got the pan under here just in case I put too much oil in the filter as you can see but you like I said you never want to put it in empty if you can help it always at least get it saturated now as you can see this is all I'm doing to tighten this up my hand and that's it that will not leak if you have a leak when you do that you've ripped the seal or you've got other problems now since this is down to just a barely barely a drip I'm gonna go ahead and put this in in here back in here now this is an aluminum pan but most generally like these GMs, uh, these Buicks and Oldsmobiles and Pontiacs. Uh, it's just a 15 millimeter wrench. Now you do not have to get on here and raunch on it, guys. You will strip it, you'll cause problems. Just get it like that. Don't get clear out here, yank on it. Just grab your wrench like that. And that's all it takes. Now if you get a leak after that, your little grommet, right there on your bolt or whatever something is causing that to leak because it doesn't have to be super tight if you get a leak after just tighten it that much you know or if you want you can put your well i can't do it one hand in here put your wrench up there and just bump it fuck it right in there anyway you just bump the end of your wrench if you got both hands just pop it once and that's that's going to be good enough like i said that's it if it leaks you've got other problems okay so now I'm going to crawl out of here, I'm going to have to retrieve my wrench after a bit out of that oil, at least it won't rust. Where'd my stray go? Uh, I bet she's in the house. So we're going to get back, as soon as the drill charges, we're going to get back to this little job here. Right there's the hole. I started to drill for the center on this. So that's my starter hole. That's where it's going to go right there. So then I got to go to a bigger bit. And the only bit I got is this. I think I thought I had a bigger regular bit. This is mas masonry bit, but uh, that's real thin metal there. I think it'll go through. If not, you know, well, I, I got a couple more drill bits that I'm going to go up bigger than what's already there to get to that so that's why I think that'll work on it just a little bit if not I'll go to plan B which plan B is figuring out what I'm gonna make plan C do <laughs> so anyway now these cars they take five four and a half to five quarts read your owner's manual it will tell you call a mechanic uh, call a parts store they'll look it up look it up online it'll tell you what what it takes uh, most generally uh, you get five quarts. What, what I'm going to do is I'll put four in, start it up, let it run for a minute, shut it off, let it set for 20, 30 seconds, and then check it. It should be about a quart low. It should take right around five quarts. I put probably, oh, a fourth, you know, of oil into the filter. A lot of people say a filter always holds a quart. Not always. You know, there's no way that filter that we had would hold a quart. So it's going to be around five quarts. But just check and make sure. Like I said, put if you're if you're if it says five quarts, still put the four in, start it up, check it, and then go from there. Because there's uh, there could always be some up in there. 
that's draining down as you're doing other things that's going to make it a little more full than if it was just bone dry because there's no engine bone dry once it's been ran so if it says five quarts it it's probably going to take around four and three quarters right in there if you put five in you might be a little over i'd rather run a car a half a quart under than a half a quart over because then you get into problems with your uh with your rods and stuff uh beating down into the oil which causes air bubbles which can cause air blocks up into your uh oil galleys and stuff like that uh to where it oils everything and you, you don't want that it, it'll cause low oil pressure sometimes but anyway there she is that's what i did i bought her a pop and now she will not go away what's your name pooh bear pooh bear that's yes. cute where are you from pooh bear uh, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. So you are a stray. I am a stray, yes. Why do you have pink icing or something on your chin? Pink icing? Yeah, and you had it when the the house company came over. <laughs> it was there, and then you went like this, and it wiped it, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So you've been out straying around huh uh-huh getting other foods out of the trash and stuff i must been those are pretty nails let me see your nails show everybody your nails all right we're gonna let that battery charge for the drill a little longer then we'll get back to you and once we start drilling holes and stuff like that how's that okay sounds good all right pooh bear out for now for now <laughs> bye, bye.